we are all so obsessed about love, to be loved, or being in love, or maybe looking for love. But love doesn't come alone. It comes with positiveness, anger, jealousy, rejection, and the pain of getting hurt. There are doubts in our mind, and it hurts the heart when things doesn't go the way we want. One of the reasons we fall in love with people is because we long to escape from ourselves in the ambience of a person who seems to be perfect in the same time we see ourselves to be dumb and as mediocre. It's a way of escaping from oneself and finding the comfort and the shelter of perfection in someone else. It's a simple way of feeling more normal and therefore comfortable to be disliked or ignored when it is mostly what we have known. We reject to look through it and promote ourselves to self-hatred. The self-hatred arises because many of us reject oneself before anyone try to reject us. It's a state of the mind where we accept the rejection before knowing the consequence of being accepted. This is the fear of rejection and we fail to love ourselves more and more. social media, we envy others for having a perfect love story as we are not shown behind the story and our brain react to what we see and it is hard for us to believe what we do not see. There was a time when I was in the top of my self-hatred. I was so much surrounded by the negativity of being rejected and being left alone that I looked for shelter to find comfort and hide my insecurity in the perfection of another being. I still do have self-doubt and I'm not good enough. When I feel like that, I used to look back and I used to see so many people who made me love myself and made me the person who I am today. I'm blessed to have such a wonderful family, friends, well like family and people who are my well-wishers, whether they are my cousin or my relatives, teachers or even some strangers who made me feel good unknowingly. Hating oneself is very easy, but loving oneself takes a lot of build-up way to be happy about oneself. When you do not have to prove yourself to anyone and accept yourself for what you are, and all your flaws, then you can improve the part where we need to improve. There is always a room for improvement, 
as no one is perfect. So, this Valentine, don't be sad if you don't have a date. Do what you love and pamper yourself and be happy about what makes you unique. You deserve to be happy and when you are happy, then only you can make others happy. So, stay happy and stay blessed.